I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join me here. Go on, it's Christmas, hit the subscribe button. Make my Christmas. <laughs> We're continuing on with Collectionmas today, but it is the absolute pointy end. This is the penultimate collection, as Dale from Dale's Addiction would like to say, the penultimate collection. Um, and I am now on holidays, so I finished up work yesterday, so I'm dressing down a little bit for me to get up this morning and do my makeup so I could film it was a big deal. I just wanted to stay in bed and do nothing, but here I am. I have two collections to go. I have to get this done for you guys. And I thought in honor of it almost being Christmas that I would, instead of wearing my headbands, I would break out my Christmas shirts that I've been wearing for a while. So also in honor of Dale from Dale's Addiction, I have broken out my Grinch shirt and it says, ooh, people. And I will admit that I have this in a few colors because this one spoke to me. <laughs> I've been wearing them to work. And that's kind of how I feel this time of year, especially because work is just crazy. So yeah, I'm hanging out with the Grinch today. Um, and if you haven't checked out Dale's Grinchmas um, vlogs through Christmas, then I'll link her channel down below because, you know, Christmas, New Year, there's not much going on um, out there. So why don't you sit and binge on everybody else's vlogmas if you've already watched all my videos? So today we're going to do the Louis Vuitton Pocket Organizer couple of disclaimers. This is not my collection. This is my partner's collection. Um, he loves the Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. Um, he was kind enough to um, get them all out for me last night. And he has in fact switched out of one of his pocket organizers for me this morning um, so that I can have them all here. He's wearing, he's using a, a Mez one today, I think. Um, <laughs> it's not exactly doing it tough, um, but he's gone off to do all the Christmas groceries. So he needed a wallet. <laughs> so he's taken his hermit, uh, his hermit as one and I have all his Louis Vuitton pocket organizers behind me. There are some here that are exotics so I'll give you guys a heads up about that um, and also if you are triggered by people who use their items and wear and tear then oh my goodness are you in for a rough ride. My, um, my partner loves his pocket organizers but he uses them like he really uses them and you'll see that as we go through. Um, some of them he has never used and others he has really used. So I am sorry about the wear and tear, but these are our items and this is how we view things in our house. They're there to be used. So let's have a look at all his many, many pocket organizers up behind me. So I think I'll start up here and move my way across and down. So we have this one. Uh, I don't have a lot of details on all of them, so I'm not going to be able to give you comprehensive information about which collections on all of them. Some of them I'll give a guess, some of them I actually know, but yeah, I'll do my best. Um, I'm pretty sure this this was Virgil, I know that. It was part of the watercolour collection, except this was the all blue watercolour, and it's so pretty. I loved these collections. They were gorgeous. I love this watercolor finish. It was lovely. Um, and it has the blue interior. He has used this one, but he has been good enough to put the little care card back in. Hmm, surprises me. Um, and it's just beautiful. So it's blue and then that side. And I'll do this once. I'm not going to do this for all of them, but I'll talk, talk to you about how a pocket organizer sets up. So there is a card slot on the back. You have cards that you can get in there. You've got cards that you can get behind. There's another big pocket behind. And then you have one, two, three card slots at the top here. And then another card slot down here. These are actually pretty good, I've got to say, for in terms of capacity, they hold a fair bit. So, and that's why he likes it. He likes it because there's no zip, there's no press. Um, it folds down to a good size for his pocket fits more than enough for him um, and it just works. He had um, a traditional wallet from Louis Vuitton to start with and that just sits in a drawer now and he collects the pocket organizers because these are his favorite and he does switch between them quite often. And then we have this one. So I feel like this was Christmas last year. This came out, this Starburst collection. So that would be Christmas 2021. <laughs> 
what year are we in? 2021. Um, I know that Dale from Dale's Diction and Connor from The Closet both have the Pochette Voyage in this print. And it was just really pretty with this, this um, sun. I think this is more of a sunrise and a sunset. But either way, it's beautiful. So there's that one. This one. 2022. I'm pretty sure that's this year. The, um, and it's just this check pattern in the green. It's got the little writing down there for you. And this beautiful green interior. So like me, um, my partner will sometimes be drawn to interior colours more than exterior colours. He likes a nice lining. This was part of the denim look range. This was definitely 2021. I'm confident. <laughs> I say not being confident at all. Um, and this is in the grey. And he actually has the matching key pull to this. We really liked it. It just had this beautiful distressed denim look to it. And it's grey on the inside. And this one has the little plaque in the vachetta on the front. This one is only new in fact I believe this is his newest one even though it's an old collection so 2019 I want to say this was this um stars collection this galaxy collection that they had I saw this at the time and I was so in love with the key pool and I didn't buy it I didn't have the money to buy it at the time um and it was something that haunted me like I literally had a piece of paper like print advertising of it that I kept because I loved it so much um and Connor from the closet through his business Conrad's closet he does consignment I'll link it all down below for you he had this come up he posted it and I was like text <laughs> like I, I need this in my life for my partner and he was more than happy to sell it to me he knows my partner he likes my partner so yeah he was happy for us to have it and it's just the pocket organizer in this galaxy which is just it's just a beautiful print it's just um, plain black on the inside he hasn't used it yet but this finish like was just gorgeous and I will probably keep an eye out for the keep all because I'm really sorry I didn't get it. Uh, this one, which I'm pretty sure is 2022. I don't think he's had it that long. It was just cool. We liked the red and the blue and the yellow. Um, and I say we, I like them too. My sales associates tend to send um, him directly. Um, the pictures of the pocket organizers every now and again, they'll send me stuff as well, but if he likes it and I don't, it doesn't matter. He can have it. I don't, I don't care. Um, but if I like it and he doesn't, <laughs> he probably won't buy it cause he's the one that's got to use it. Um, and then we have this one, which is just the monogram in this metallic gray color. When you flip it over, the monogram stops and you've got a panel that is just straight up, um, metallic and then the inside is also just plain metallic so just a nice staple with the monogram but with just like metallic finish on it and this one which i feel like is only fairly new or maybe not he's used this one there might be uh, there's a similar one so this is raised so it's black embossed LVs and if I can do this you can probably see get myself out of it it's raised so it does actually sit up um, and it's so soft this is just such a soft leather um, he has used this one but it's held up really well because it is such soft pliable leather so this is actually a really really beautiful um, one if you're looking at gifts for your partner and they like Louis Vuitton but they don't like it to scream Louis Vuitton even though it's embossed with the LVs you've really got to look for them so I think this is a really great option for someone in that boat and then we've got the plain blue monogram and like the metallic gray one we turn it over it's got the plain and the back and the same on the inside this one has not got a metallic sheen to it it is just um tone on tone print but so that's really pretty and then i feel like 
was this the first no that might be the first but this was an early one this was definitely an early one so monogram eclipse in a pocket organizer and this one's had some use to it it's got that flat look where it's had cards in it and then they've been taken out um, so they do get that look like all SLGs do because you do stretch them out and I don't know if it'll come up on screen but you can just kind of see the imprint there where it's had cards in it and then they've all been taken out again and then we have an epi, epi. I love epi <laughs> um, and this is in white <laughs> which isn't always the best color, but if you're going to get white, then epi leather is a good one for that because um, it's probably going to wear better. Um, and you got the little LV down there. And then this has got a really cool interior. So it's got monogram eclipse and it's got the brown Louis Vuitton that if you've got SLGs, especially old ones, you'll be really familiar with it. So that one, this is the first. I am confident this is the first so this is my partner's um canvas i've spoken before in previous videos in my family you everybody gets a canvas myself my partner and my two children we've all got our own canvases and when you buy travel goods all your travel goods from louis vuitton come in that canvas mine is monogram my daughter has demi air bean my son has monogram eclipse and my partner has um demi air graphite that's your um <laughs> That's your canvas. You don't get to choose and chop and change. Um, so this was his first because this is in his canvas. And he used this. Like, it is loved. It is soft because it is so well used. But it has stood up really well to the abuse. Now, he will often drop this on the ground. He gets out. The pockets aren't exactly the way he likes the pockets and they fall on the ground. It gets um, thrown around. It goes on our kitchen bench. We're not looking to see if there's anything on it before we put it down. It's held up well. Um, and then there's this one, which is also be used a fair bit. So black with um, debossed whole <laughs> face. So we have uh, embossed and we have debossed. Why not? Um, so yeah, just plain black leather with the debossed LV in it. Um, and then we have this one. This is one of my favorites. I feel like this was 2021. Pretty sure. Could be this year. I can't keep up anymore. Um, but we just loved how bright and colorful this was. All the little squares. And then it's just plain black on the inside. So you're not missing this one. If you put it down, you're probably going to be able to find it. All right. And then these ones, I'm pretty sure, are some of the newest ones. Um, so they've only just, they haven't long been out with Louis Vuitton. So there's this dark look. Um, I think it's supposed to look a little bit like denim, um, but it's a bit distressed. And they are embossed. They are raised. And that's the black one with the plain black interior. And then we also got the blue, which I think shows up the LVs better. And that's got the blue interior. So they're not that old, I don't think. Like maybe a couple of months at most. And then this one, this year, I think. This is really pretty. It's got the LVs on it, but they've got lines through them. It's just plain gray. Um, and it's like a real um, matte gray. So it doesn't throw high shine um, and it's super soft. So that's a really beautiful one as well. And then these ones all do together. So these came out with the same collection. This is this year. So we have the purple and you can probably hear my son in the background he's home <laughs> school holidays um so that one's the purple that came out with it and this one is the green just super pretty green this was such a beautiful green that came out with this collection um, and plain green on the inside and then this one is also fairly recent, like fairly recent, like last couple of months. So this is the denim look with the stitching LV on it and it's blue and black and the stitching's all in yellow and it's got the brown interior on it. I do like it when they'll do an interesting interior on them. 
2020, I want to say. So this is one of the older ones and this one's had some use as well. You can see it's got that stretched out look to it. And this is in the blue and the black um, and it's plain black on the inside. So once again, has held up really well. These age well, they wear well. And then we have the Virgil mirror piece. And sometimes they get this sheen on them. And I find it with my Pochette Voyage as well. They get a real sheen to them and then you wipe them down and they're fine. Does anyone else, can you, if you have this collection where it's this mirror finish, can you tell me if you get a sheen on yours? I'm trying to work out, is it my climate here where I am or is it these pieces that do it? I'm interested to know. So this is the Mirror Virgil piece. And if we open it up, it is beautiful inside and it has the Vachetta detail on the edges and it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. I don't actually believe he's used it. And then the um, brother <laughs> to the grey one we saw at the top is the blue. So they brought out the grey look denim and the blue look denim and they've both got this Vachetta patch on them. And if we turn it over... There's that side as well. And this one's black inside, which really surprised me. I thought it would be blue inside, but no, it's black. Don't know why. <laughs> so there's that one as well. Okay, let's move on to the watercolor. This is Virgil. So this is the colored version of the first one that we saw. It's beautiful. This collection, I adore. Adored. I have the Pochette Voyage. Um, we have the skateboard in this. It was just a stunning, stunning collection. I loved all the colors in it. It was just gorgeous. So we have that one as well. This one. 2021, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, it's just got the big LV on it. It's got the fluoro yellowy green on the back and then plain black on the inside this one which i'm pretty sure is this year 2022 might even be recent but this ombre effect from the yellow to the green is just gorgeous i love it when louis vuitton do color in the men's range it's got the big plaque on the front with writing and then plain black inside, which I think was a missed opportunity. But I understand they do them in black often because the cards are in and out and they can um, make it grotty. But I still think it was a missed opportunity. And then we have these ones. So these are well known. <laughs> um, so we have the green metallic ombre and it's got this real 3D effect to it which I don't think shows up on camera or image as well as in real life. Um, and they, they've got this real strange feel to them as well. Um, I just, I can't explain this 3D finish that it has unless you've seen them in person. People have seen them personally going, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And we also got the pink and purple one. So these were just beautiful pieces. There were a lot. They were really popular. I feel like it was Virgil's last collection or the first collection after he died. And it was so popular. Everybody wanted pieces from that. Um, so there's those ones. And then we have down here another Epi in dark blue this time. And it's got the monogram Eclipse inside and the grey. So they did do cool finishes in these um, epi leathers. This one's very recent. Um, yeah, like weeks. And this is the paint that's out at the moment. You can actually get this in store right now. Um, and it's in the grey, so in the green and the white. And I think I unboxed this on my channel for you guys because I stole it. <laughs> Um, and I love the green interior in this. This is just stunning. They did this in a red as well, but the red had a, just a plain black interior, which wasn't as interesting. And then we have this one, which is in the um, blurred monogram that we saw from Virgil's last collection, I want to say. And you'll see it's not a standard size. So it's got this wavy pattern to it. And to be fair, my partner has not used it. 
um, it's beautiful on the inside. It's all treated with cheddar. I will be surprised if he uses this at all or much at all because it is not the rectangle, which makes it somewhat cumbersome if you want to use it and put it in your pocket a lot. But it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, and now we have the exotics. So we, he has an ostrich in this grey colour. And we both really love ostrich. And he has used this. So you can see the card slots have been used. But the ostrich has held. He has used it. There has been no wearing. It's held up really, really well. Ostrich is more hard wearing than you think it is. We also have this one, which is in croc, and it is this mirror silver croc finish with this blue um, croc down the side. And this is completely croc, but they've managed to do a metallic finish, which is just beautiful. He hasn't used it yet. And it's got the gray on the inside. It's a very dark gray, but this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. You don't see croc in a metallic very often. And it is gorgeous. We also have this one, which what is what most people refer to as the Himalayan croc. So he's got that in a pocket organizer as well. Has used this one. The outside is perfect. It has worn beautifully. But you can see he's used it because the inside has many, many marks on it. And this has been used a fair bit. But the outside hanging in there. This is, I think my partner's pocket organizer collection is probably your best indication of how exotics will wear. For those of you who are scared of using exotics because you think you're not sure how they're going to wear, he uses his exotics like he uses leather. He does, he is, does not treat it any differently. It gets thrown on the bench, lands on the floor. My children play with it. Like it, it get cops an absolute battering much more than my handbags do. So if they hold up this well under him using it like anything else, they will hold. And this is croc and it is perfect on the outside. Yet yeah, it has been used and there are a heap of marks on the inside. So please take that on board. The croc has held well, the ostrich has held well. So if you are con if you are concerned or scared about using exotics, he's an absolute case study in you can use them, they will wear. Um, this is the one that I made him change out of last night. This is the one he's been using. It is also croc. And this is a matte croc. And it actually has a very soft finish to it. So it's not a high shine. It's got a very different finish to it. It feels beautiful. Everybody who sees this wants to touch it because it's just got this lovely, lovely finish to it. You can see it's got marks all through it. He has been using this. He's been in this for several weeks now. Um, and there's no marks. Look at that no marks whatsoever so it will hold there's probably oh yeah look you can see just there he's had a little bit of wear on the edge but it has aged well and it meet and it fits in well with the rest of the crock pattern so cool with that this is probably the one that has taken the biggest beating so also crock um use this for a long time in this brown and if i turn it over you can see the color transfer just there down the side that he's had um, from darker pants and it has worn that way but once again it's beautiful as it starts to wear so brown interior marks all through it but it has got that wear but I think it adds to the piece it doesn't take away nobody's scared we're not going to try and sell these on at any point this is his collection he's like me he won't get rid of them um, so I think it actually adds character to the pieces so these are all our pocket organizers. My baguette collection was my biggest collection. This is bigger than my baguette collection. So this is, um, I've pre-counted so you don't have to see here while I count. There's 36 pocket organizers up behind me. Will he collect more? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> there are three more that we have already paid for that we're waiting to land in collections that are about to drop. So that will get us to what, 39? So there are definitely more coming um, and I will unbox them for you as they arrive. But yeah, he's not done yet. And in fact, there's a very special piece coming hopefully January um, that is being custom made for him. So I will show you that when that arrives as well. So 
If you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that little subscribe button down below. Um, also, don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos. Collection mess is almost over. There's one more day to go. And then if I get time, I have plans for Christmas Day and Boxing Day. And then I'm probably going to have a little bit of a break before New Year's Eve because <laughs> there have been a lot of videos and I'm sure you guys are so sick of me by now. I will also throw up my Instagram handle for you if um, you'd like to come follow me over there. I put lots up in real time. I post pictures around my collection and day-to-day -day life and anything that sales associates send me through. So please come follow me over on Instagram. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.